the shocking story from Cobb County. The woman accused of gunning down her daughter but appeared before a judge this morning. Well, that is just one of many new developments in this very shocking case. Our Latasha Givens joins us live tonight from Cobb County Police Department with much more. Latasha. Well, Blaine and Jeff, according to neighbors, the only thing more shocking than the kindergarten teacher being gunned down inside her home is the fact that the shooter was not a burglar or a stranger. Police say it was her own mother-in-law who pulled the trigger while her young grandchildren were nearby. Will you call Ms. Wall up, please? Yes, sir. Elizabeth Wall went before a judge today facing a felony murder charge for allegedly shooting and killing her daughter-in-law, Jenna Wall. Ms. Wall, do you have any questions about the charges against you, ma'am? With shaky hands and her head held low, she answered every question with no sir. It's sad. It's tragic. Like many neighbors, the Rayner family was shocked that the beloved kindergarten teacher just two doors down was killed inside the childhood home she grew up in. It's unusual for this area. We just don't have crime of any kind down here. No break-ins, nothing. It just it's a quiet neighborhood. It was crazy. I was very surprised that it was, it was the mother-in-law. Investigators say Jenna's two boys were home when she was murdered. With the kids in the house. I mean, these poor kids, they're traumatized now. Throughout the day, these letters from her students and friends of her two boys were left at the doorstep along with flowers. That, that's never going to leave them. Elizabeth Walls was not granted bond today. That's because most magistrate judges don't issue them for felony murder cases. But once her attorney files a motion for a bond hearing, it will be held over for Superior Court. Jeff, back to you. Incomprehensible, Akash.